We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. What's up, folks? It's everyone's favorite time of the week. It is Power of the Force Fridays. Here we go. We've got the uh, latest installment. I did get this um, sort of during May. Um, so I've had this sort of sitting there and I completely forgot about it, to be honest. It's sort of, I tucked it around the back of the shelves on the Power of the Force shelf. I'm uh, in the process of doing a little bit of an addition to my room. So I'll fill you all in, in, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we've got the Swoop Rider and Swoop Bike from Shadows of the Empire. I think this will probably be the last of the Shadows of the Empire sort of realm of Power of the Force figure reviews. Um, unless I get any of the uh, the two packs or any of the other vehicles, but don't know. I'm not really on my um, not really on my scopes at the moment. So yeah, we've got the Swoop Bike. This is pretty cool. I did pick this up for an absolute steal um, on on eBay a few months back. Yeah, 1996. This one came out. I did keep the packaging. I just can't remember where I put it. Well, it's in one of my tubs, so I just haven't been able to see it. So we're just going to look at this thing and enjoy it for what it is. It is a swoop bike. <laughs> um, no, it was a, this was a cool part of the game. I liked the swoop chase early on in the game. I think it was one of the first levels, actually. I can't remember. It's been so long. We'll take a look at the pilot. So yeah, he's still very much in that realm of 1996. Probably not the best painted figure in the line at all, by any stretch. Um, yeah, there's a lot of just, a lot of just paint everywhere. There's just... You know, there's brown bits on the arm, on the upper arm there. It's just a little bit all over the place. It was definitely a sort of a, a low tier, low priority figure. And it probably, you know, it was probably not intended to sell. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I suppose if it wasn't intended to sell well, they wouldn't have made it. But um, I don't know whether it was just, it is what it is. You can sort of see on the boots. I'm sure that's um, black plastic and the brown sort of painted around it, but yeah, even then, it's a you know, you got little extra streaks of paint everywhere. It's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. You know, most Power of the Four stuff's reasonably clean, um, it, despite being very simple. It's still still reasonably clean. One of the, probably one of the earlier figures to have knee articulation as well. No, no elbow articulation, but he's got the um, he's got him in that sort of handlebar position. It does have the sort of weird up and down, so no side swivel on the head. It's just all you can have him sort of just sitting there reading a newspaper or something. We can have him. Yelling at the roof. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, even just on the even on the helmet, the paint's just a little bit all over the place. It's just yeah, not the cleanest, but it is what it is. It's fine. I've got it in the collection now. That's that's all all I ever wanted. <laughs> so there's the bike. You know, for for the time, it's not too bad. Very much in the realm of sort of 90s toys. It's got, you know, a big firing cannon and, you know, flip-out wings. Got a couple of big flip-out wings there like that. The big cannon, which does have the uh, flick missile on it. And it's sort of around that time of like, I don't know, I guess, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin... 
I guess, that sort of realm of toys, the 90s Spider-Man stuff, you know, everything had to have guns. And it's got the landing gear here, which does sit on it very nicely, but it sort of flips up when it's in flight mode or riding mode. Yeah, there isn't really a lot else going on with the thing. Which is, which is fine. And you've got to have that landing gear down for it to sit. I guess they sort of went with a, you know, slightly more sort of sleek racing style to the, to the original, you know, Biker Scout speeder bike. And that in turn obviously inspired the design of like Anakin's swoop bike from Attack of the Clones. So by no means uh, a super duper exciting figure of any of any sort of description, but it is what it is. I've got it, part of the collection. That's and it didn't cost me much at all, so it's good. I never had this one as a kid. I'd almost like to just sort of cut that, get rid of that big gun thing, <laughs> and just have the uh, have the two two wings. That wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Expose some of that engine on the side. So it would have been smarter to have the screw hole. So you've got two screw holes on the side there. That would have made more sense to have that on the other side and then you can hide it with the gun. So you have that one at least would be hidden. You still have that front one, but what can you do? What can you do? Not a great deal, I'm afraid. This is nearly 30 years old. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll put this in. I'll put some. I'll put a link at the end to um, the playlist with the rest of the Shadow of the Empire stuff, or just a couple of the videos. I don't know yet. We'll see how I go when I edit and upload. So there is the Swoop bike. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this one this week. It's been cool. We'll see you next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Have a great weekend, everyone. May the Force be with you, always.